Well, it's mid-November now, and I just wanted to take one final look at some of these grafts and show you what worked and what didn't. This is obviously one that didn't work out so well. You can see that the graft has actually pulled itself away from the trunk. There wasn't enough pressure in there in order to hold it tight, so it's kind of detached on this side. So it's not a fully successful graft, at least. However, if you look at the other side, you'll see that it actually is fairly solid. So this was partially successful. It may grow itself in a little bit better over time. The bud itself may actually still be viable, however, so I think I will go ahead and give it a try next year, snip above this, and see if it shoots out. If it doesn't, I'll go ahead and graft a little bit lower on the trunk. This one looks pretty good. It's healed over on both sides, and it seems to be connecting itself in fairly well to the tree. So I must have got a better connection of the cambium layers on this one. So this will be a great candidate next year to go ahead and snip off and see if that shoots out. Here's another one that turned out fairly well. Has a good amount of healing on both sides. Just hope that the uh, bud stays good over winter as well. This one here didn't work out. It's not connected on the top or on this side here. And uh, the other side is connected slightly and so is the bottom, but not enough that I think it's gonna hold for the winter time. Kind of funny, you can already see the desired result a little bit here where we've got actually a new limb that has pushed out because of that hormone being blocked from the top of the tree. So this already shot out. That's actually what we want to see next spring coming from this bud here. However, I'm not sure how well this one is going to work. It's not connected on the top. It looks like I cut in too far, but the bottom does look connected and so do the sides. So we'll probably give this one a shot, see what it does. Now, obviously we've got a failure here. The actual graft fell out, so we don't have any of that in there and it's already healing over. So this one we'll go ahead and whip and tongue graft in the spring and get that going. So what I've learned from using the parafilm is that it will keep the buds in a good environment to help them heal over, but it doesn't quite put as much pressure on it as you might want. So I think next year we'll try some different techniques and uh, see how well those work. But we'll catch up with this project again in the spring when it's time to plant some of these out a little bit further and uh, do some more grafting. Thanks for watching.